Hey guys, what's poppin'? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Danny Matthews. Today we're gonna be talking about something that hasn't come out yet, but they're looking to release in Adobe Premiere. So Adobe is looking to release something called Auto Tone. This setting in luminetry color is gonna be very helpful to do quick corrections. It's gonna be doing auto white balance as well as auto light corrections. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Premiere. First of all, I really wanna say that this logo is absolutely freaking dope. I hope they actually update it to this, but I know it's just the beta logo. What you're gonna have to do is go into your color panel. On the right side, you're gonna have your luminetry color and all of your basics in here. Under your basic correction, go ahead and open up that tab. And in this tab, you can see that there is reset and there's auto. They decided to recall call it auto instead of auto tone. I want to go through this video to kind of give you guys an idea of what this is and give you an idea of how to use it. So let's go ahead and hit on auto and see what it can do for us. So this was actually shot in log. So it's going to be going ahead and doing our auto white balance as well as our correction. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. It's nothing that I absolutely love, but it is a pretty good right off the bat. I would like the white balance to be a little bit more balanced, but this was a hard image to balance that because the forest was a lot more green and brown, not much white or clouds to take from. So as you can see right off the bat, this is not bad at all. This correction is really easy, especially if you're like in a room with white walls or something that has like a super simple white balance. Go ahead and use this. This will actually speed up your workflow tremendously instead of going in and having to correct all of your log footage. I haven't tested it with normal footage with a profile and seen what it might do for it. I would assume that it's going to be doing amazing things on it, especially because it has something more of context to take from. The software has used artificial intelligence where it's taking in information and it's creating its own look based upon what the algorithm is. This is a really good starting point for anyone looking to do more an advanced color grade on this and they can start here and build on top of it. If you're doing something really quick and easy and you just need to get something out for like some type of promotional or our social media or whatever, this is gonna be super helpful and it's gonna be your best friend because it's gonna be so much quicker for your workflow. So I definitely think that Adobe's gonna have this come out. It's a super simple thing and would be really helpful for people just to have a quicker workflow. They also did a really cool update in this and I hope they actually have this, especially for people learning color grading and getting into basics of color grade this has a section where they have color so this has the temperature the tint and the saturation all within there that affects the color of the image and here you show that it's light and that affects the light like the contrast the exposure all of that is super helpful that they actually split up the two and they also mentioned that this could be used as a good learning tool for people if you hit auto tone or the auto button and it shows just basically what's going on in there and what it affects and how contrast and how exposure works and how temperature works. So you can kind of get a feel for that by experimenting with it. And the cool thing about this, that's a little bit more of an upgrade than what it used to be. I thought the old one used to have like an actual like auto for the whole thing. But as I did auto on my other footage, in my S log, it really didn't do anything besides maybe add a little bit, push towards the blacks and a little bit of contrast. It was it was very vague. It didn't do much at all whatsoever. So this is a really big upgrade from that. But to repeat myself, it's a really great thing to have for a starting point, or if you just want to do quick corrections and get things moving, it will help your workflow, I think, significantly if they come out with this. If you guys have any more questions about that and how that works, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you guys on that. Appreciate you guys watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.